let's move on to our next uh, ribbon tab which is the reference ribbon tab I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents insert a uh, footnote create a citation and insert some captions to your shapes okay so let's start with the table of contents but first let me clear the formatting from our layout tab okay now so let's say I have this um, paragraph here or document here so in order for me to create a table of contents um, the table of contents only shows the location of the page of the headers that you created on your document say for example since we have only one header here so the table of contents would only generate one uh, page of this uh, table of contents so let's say say I want to create a table of contents and want to put it on top of the document so I'll just click on the table of contents and then um, automat automatic table one so let me choose this one so as you can see the table of contents only shows the title of each header present on your document so it's in our uh, page one page one of the document so let me try to uh, duplicate this or copy this to another page say on this one I'm just generating different um, pages with the same content let's see what would be the the table of contents for this whole document so let's update the table now update the entire table so as you can see the contents now provides a different numbers of uh, pages together with the title of each heading so if we change the heading, say for example this one, let me change this the title of this heading. The second heading, and then this one is the third heading. then the fourth one the fourth heading and I think this is the last one the last heading so let's save it and then going back to our first page wherein we have the table of contents we should just um, click on the contents and then update the table so as you can see the contents are now updated so the first heading which has the video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point is located at page one and then the second heading so click to follow the link so once you click on this one okay so it would direct redirect you to the second heading and then to the third one and then also to the fourth one and then the last heading so that's how you create a table of contents so it only depends on the uh, heading of your um, of your document so let's say I want to make this a sub content or subheading so you could just add uh, click add text and then make it as level 2 so this is a subheading once we click on the update table entire table it will become a subheading so I'm going to say this heading here has a subtopic of when you click online video you can paste it on embed code okay so this is just a subheading so you could also uh, create a third uh, sub level of heading by using add text and then choose level 3 and then once you click on the contents update the table 
So this uh, heading here has a subtopic when you click online, blah, blah, blah. And then this uh, subheading here has also a sub has a subtopic of to make your document look professionally produced and so on and so forth. Okay, so these are all located at page one. So you could do the same thing on the rest of the heading. Okay, so that's how you create a table of contents. So update table. So these are just uh, another type of or another way of updating your table. Once you add a content, you can update the table here, or you could just click on this part and then choose update table. Okay. So let's try to add a footnote. So insert a footnote. Add a foot. Add a note at the bottom of the page providing more info about something in your document so let's try to add a footnote so let's say this is a footnote and then the second one let's say another footnote another footnote so it's just an additional information about the the contents of this uh, page so you could also uh, type the link let's say came or retrieved from from uh, youtube.com something like that okay or let's say you want to ask some questions why are we studying this? Okay. So you could also click on the next footnote to see which uh, the other footnotes or previous footnote. So if you could also uh, uh, click on that and then search search for definitions images web pages and other results from various online sources so uh, you could only use search when you are connected to through the internet so once you click on this one a new pane will appear here and you could search like for example uh, web pages for uh, programmers so once you click on that or hit enter so it would suggest uh, different sites okay and then the most important part of the references tab is the uh, creating citations let's say your uh, instructor or professor asks you to create a citation so the first thing that you have to do is to create or to click on the manage sources And then, as you can see, uh, I don't have a, a sources yet. Say, for example, I want to create a new one. So, click on the new. And then, type of source, you could choose book. Or, you could select another type of source. Let's say, website. And then, the author. Let's say, the author is Juan de la Cruz. And then the name of the web page is like, for example, is how to use references tab. And then the name of the website is youtube.com. So year 2021, month is August, the day is 7. And then the URL is, let's say for example, let's just create an arbitrary uh, URL. So once you click on OK, so it would create a uh, an APA style of uh, reference. So once you hit close, you could just insert it by clicking this uh, bibliography, but you could also choose different type of wordings let's say references so once you click on references it would display the uh, references that you uh, inserted a while ago okay 
So you could update this one through manage sources. Let's say we forgot to add a new author. Let's say uh, the last name is uh, Bob and then the first name is John and then let's say the middle name is Woods so let's add this author another one is for example Steve oops that's not the last name so let's say um, Banks and then Steve then let's say don't have a middle name so click OK and then click OK so click yes to update the, uh, the, the list and then close and then in order for us to update this or the, uh, the to update the, uh, the citation and apply the changes that we have made to the authors you could just click on the update citations and bibliography so as you can see the uh, there are two more authors that are added in this um, references right so you could just different styles so GB7714 ghost IEEE -E -E. so it depends on the uh, style that you wanted to use but most of the time we use the APA 6th edition style okay so that's it so insert caption let's try this one let's try to create a shape so now that we have a shape here go to references and then insert a caption let's see figure one so we have the the option to choose where we should put it in our uh, figure so position below the selected item or above the selected item okay so once we click OK it will be uh, placed at the bottom we could also change this one so select this um, shape insert caption and then put some uh, description to your figure so this is a rectangle rectangle and then once we click OK so this is now a rectangle you could uh, place it at the center you could also change the color using the home ribbon tab so that's it so that's for our references tab so let's move on to the mailings tab on our next video